Hey, Todd Martin here with The Walking Code. In this series of videos, I'm doing a fact check on common walking technique recommendations that you're gonna see on YouTube. And I'm gonna try to help you determine whether these recommendations are good for your walking technique or bad for your walking technique. Fact check number four. The claim is that we should actively toe off or extend from the calf, plant our flexing the foot in order to push the body forward. This misunderstands the actual mechanics of the core when we're walking. When we are walking, there is a point where the ankle is going to plant our flex. That occurs at the end of the mid-swing portion of gait and moving into the terminal stance or terminal swing portion of gait where we bring the heel down. This is where the ankle is going to plant our flex. But that is not the point where people are talking about toe off. People talk about toe off at this point where the toes are the last thing on the ground and we should actively plant our flex the ankle to help push the body forward. But this doesn't make a lot of sense for a lot of reasons. Number one, once the toes leave the ground, they need to be traveling forward in the swing through part of the gait. If the toes are moving back forcibly at this point, that does not help the swing leg move forward. It's not in line with the movement that's supposed to be happening. This is what you would do if you were riding on a skateboard, but not when we're walking where the foot has to swing forward. So that is not where the active ankle plantar flexion happens. The ankle plantar flexion happens here. Then all of the ankle action and knee action are gonna be coming from the front leg, pulling the body forward for the rest of the swing through portion of gait. That allows the toes on the rear leg to begin moving forward immediately rather than pushing backwards. What you'll find if you try to toe off, as people describe, at the end of this position of gait is that you're going to end up with a bounce because you're actually pushing your body up. instead of letting the natural swing through occur. So do not try to actively toe off at this point. Use the muscles in the front side, front leg to pull the body forward. And when you do plantar flex the ankle at the end of the mid stance phase, that is going to be a reflexive action from the core that's going to create a neural reflex that makes your ankle plantar flex. What I mean by that is you don't have to actively, in your mind, try to plantar flex your ankle. It's going to occur naturally when you begin to bring your heel down if you're rotating your core properly. If you try to actively plantar flex the ankle, really nothing different is going to happen. You're just using some mental energy that you don't need to use. So I'm going to try to plantar flex my ankle there. It doesn't change anything. If you don't try to plantar flex your ankle, it's going to happen naturally. Think about it like this. If you put your feet together about shoulder width apart and do this motion here where you're rotating and you see how my ankle plantar flexes as I get to this position. It's not that I'm having to make it plantar flex, it's a part of the normal body reflexes that allows us to keep vertical with normal posture. You don't have to actively try to point the toes down, it's gonna happen on its own. That's the same action that's happening during this part of the gait when the heel is gonna come off the ground. It happens without any conscious effort, and then as soon as the heel touches, that ankle stops actively plantar flexing and the action is going to occur in the forward ankle. The rear leg and rear ankle are going to be allowed to swing naturally forward at that point, not pushing off the ground. 
I hope that makes sense and I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and you can click on to watch fact check number five.